I think sometimes we can expect a lot from people uh, and sometimes we can be indifferent. Um, and I think as I've been doing more self-work and, and really focusing on who am I and how am I showing up and how are other people seeing me, I've realized that at times I can be ignorant to other people's world and their emotions and then what one they might be going through. And so one of the things that I've learned um, and really been acute, more acutely aware of recently is to see the humanity in everyone. To, and, and when I see the humanity, I'm seeing them as a person with limitations, seeing them as a person with um, complexity and challenges, just like I have. And being aware that there are challenges that we can't just easily get over. We can't just easily see our way through. And so for some people, it's going to be a different, and for all of us, it's a different journey as to how we get over th certain things and how we overcome challenges. Um, but just recognizing and respecting that it was really important for me because then I can take a step back. And while I'm trying to convey my message or trying to help someone grow, I can be attentive to their process and attentive to their uh, progress as it's happening. And so uh, if I'm recognizing their humanity, then I can be very forgiving much quicker uh, and allowing that grace, right, to sort of cover over what it is that they might not be really getting right now. Um, and that's really told me then to take a step back and, and to analyze where um, I can shift and um, be my better self for for others, for myself, um, in terms of how it is that I relate, how it is that I can see other people. I think people really love to be seen. I think it's one of the most impactful things that someone can do is to really see people because at, at the core of who we are, we wanna be seen, we wanna be acknowledged. It gives us that sense of respect um, and it upholds our integrity. And so when we see people, we can then better relate to people and we can get within their zone of, uh, because they feel, they feel understood. Right. And I think that example you gave of like, you know, he had to, the married at first sight, he had to elevate his, or maybe drop his standard to relate to her. Um, that's a really nice, uh, picture of like, sometimes you, you mentioned how we, we have to see the the ugly side of us. We have to see the side that people are really seeing and what we're really putting out. Um, and this can be done in many ways. And obviously he probably felt really squeezed to do it in the way that she does it, right? To, to respond in the same way because it was just not, his message wasn't getting across. And I think when someone's elevated like that, it's really difficult for you to be in a quiet space and be like, okay, we're just going to calm down. I'm just going to wait for you to breathe. Like, no, it, it's really difficult and often can push us over the edge where we react in the same way. Um, one, of the, one of the incidents that I had with this was that I one time went to the airport, I was picking someone up and I accidentally went way too early for the flight. And I went over to the counter to ask about this flight because it wasn't coming. I had waited for an hour and i said what is going on with this i was really elevated i was very emotional and triggered you know all the things and the lady simply took the piece of paper she turned her around because i had printed the details of the flight she turned around and she let me look at it and she just pointed to the flight and she said so is this the flight that you're looking for and i said yes that's the flight she goes and is this when it's coming and i'm like yes and that's it and then she goes it's this the time that's coming Yes. And so looking at the details, I realized, oh my goodness, I'm like way too early for this flight. It's like coming the next day. And so it was like in that moment, I had this realization that there was nothing wrong with the system. There was nothing wrong with anyone. I just misinterpreted the details. And so I had no right to be angry or upset or elevated or frustrated. I took my little piece of paper. She just smiled at me. And I just walked away, you know, and it was such a gentle, be a powerful way of showing someone that they're on the right, on the wrong track, right? You're on the wrong, tr wrong track. You're blaming things around you, but I'm not going to mention all of that because it's not important. What's really important is this is where the misunderstanding is. You have missed the detail. And, and so I think, yeah, we can 
certainly um, help people to see. I think there's a tactful way to help others, and I'm I'm sensing myself really developing into that person that is able to help people to see where it is that they might be missing the mark um, and where they can um, take stock and and reflect on what it is that they're doing so they don't keep going back around the same pole, right? We want them to get better because the frustration is no fun. And even the person who is feeling the frustration is not enjoying it. Like they're not happy that they're frustrated. They would love to remove the frustration, have great conversations and have thriving relationships in any domain, right? We all want that. Um, so, yeah, I think it's really important to find tactful, artful ways to present to people how it is that they might be missing the mark, perhaps in their own life. Maybe they're seeking to find their own meaning. Um, what, you know, if, if we can give off something, what is it that we can give? And the other thing, too, I, I noticed this weekend, I was having a conversation with um, with a friend and she was telling me all these things about, you know, what she was going through. And I wanted to give a little bit of advice because, you know, like I went through that thing and I wanted to sort of share. And then I realized actually, because she was saying, you know, I actually spoke to so-and-so and I spoke to this person. I've got a few people saying this and a few. And I actually thought she's done enough research to know what is best for her. Or if she hasn't done enough research, she's going to be able from what she's already shared with me in terms of what she's heard around her i perceive she's got adequate information and perhaps enough voices speaking to her that she doesn't need my full account of what happened to me and how i dealt with it and so i held back and i said actually i sense that you've done your research and you will make the right decision for yourself you'll work it all out and i think that's really powerful to recognize that even though people are not necessarily doing exactly the same thing that you did and you might be sharing an experience where you went through exactly the same thing when you're able to step back and say oh it sounds like you've done your research and encourage and empower them to look at their options the ones that they already have and not pile anymore on but look at their options and analyze what's best for them then you're valuing the person and what that tells me is that i've grown in my maturity to remove the ego out of the equation and I think, and one thing that I love about um, this book also is that um, with uh, the habit, breaking the habit of being yourself is that it talks about the evidence that shows up when you do the work. It's the evidence of maybe your character that you've been trying to change, or if you're trying to bring something into your life, then you, you, know, you might be getting that call for that job that you've been searching for. But it's the little changes that you make that lead to the quality of life and the experiences and events that you desire. And when you are attentive and you do the work intentionally, when those little things show up, they're very encouraging. Like for myself, it was very encouraging to know that I didn't have to be in her face. I wasn't like before where I needed to, you know, say this and that and, and be like, no, but you got to do this because of this. Da, 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 da. Because when people do that, I've realized also from research and, and self-growth is that I'm only speaking from my deficit. I'm speaking from my experience. And a lot of the times we speak from our fears as well, right? Because I've gone through it this way and, oh my God, but you got to be careful. You got to do it this way because this is what happened to me. Like you're speaking from your fear and that might not be their reality. So they're better off not knowing about it. They don't need to have all the context. They don't need to listen to your story. Right now they're going through that thing themselves. And so if I can show a little bit of compassion and a little bit of empowerment that, you know what? I think you've got the information unless they're asking me directly can you share with me a lot of the times people have the information they need to make the right decisions and we really do need to as we're talking about you know us turning in and doing the work and being present with ourselves and being really intentional to pay attention to who we are we need to encourage others to do the same like pay attention to what it is that's speaking to you right now in this season or in this difficulty what is the theme? What is the thing that's showing up? What is the conversation you're having with yourself? You know, empower people to be their own guide because that's where the wisdom really comes from. And I think people who are searching will always find the answers if they're searching authentically and genuinely. And yes, advice from friends is great, but let us wait to be asked about what our perception or what our advice might be rather than us feeling the need to, you know, blurt it out and vomit all over the person and 
Bible bash or whatever it is that we might, you know, in, in terms of how we might do that. Um, but yeah, I just really reflected on, on, on that and just recognizing my own self, like I have the ability to really connect with the person and recognize that they're a human and their core of who they are, they're a human. And when I can behold that in my visual, I interact very differently and very powerfully with people because then I take care of who they are rather than what I want as the outcome. Yeah. 